The Vermont Democratic Party is the affiliate branch of the United States Democratic Party in the state of Vermont. The party advocates progressivism and American liberalism. Through most of its history, at least from the time of the American Civil War until the 1960s, Vermont was an almost exclusively Republican state, with Republicans dominating Vermont politics, especially the governorship, from 1854 to 1960. However, perhaps inspired by the election of John F. Kennedy as U.S. President in 1960, Vermont's Democrats since that time have staged an impressive resurgence in Vermont's politics. Today, the Democrats have the dominant political party organization in the Green Mountain State, holding every major office at both the federal and state level except for governor and lieutenant governor. History The Vermont Democratic Party is relatively young. Since the state was dominated for so long by its Republicans, the United States Democratic Party gave little attention to Democrats in the state. It wasn't until the 1960s that the Democrats started to pull together a statewide organization. The exact date or year the state party was formed is unknown. It is difficult to conduct research about the party's history because it does not retain archives of historical documents. Ideology, policies, and party platform Ideology Today, the Vermont Democratic Party is rooted in progressivism and American liberalism. The state is considered a breeding ground for progressives and independents, many of which have close ties to the Vermont Democratic Party. Most progressives run under the Democratic Party banner in Vermont. Topic: Policies. The Vermont Democratic Party advocates for universal health care, equality for all, and social justice. Many of the party's proposals have been adopted, including universal health care, Green Mountain Care, same-sex marriage, gay marriage, and the closing and decommissioning of the Vermont Yankee nuclear power station, set to take place in early 2015. The party tends towards environmentalism, favoring measures to protect Vermont's natural resources and ecosystems. Democrats in the state have also called for Vermont to be the first state to use only renewable energy sources. The party also favors campaign finance reform, but lines up behind the National Party in voicing support for some liberalization of campaign finance regulations so that it may better remain competitive with the Republicans. Party platform Documents representing the Vermont Democratic Party's platform have been approved on September 11, 2010 by the party, in 2012, and there is a latest iteration set for approval during late 2014. It conforms very closely to the United States Democratic Party platform, addressing issues such as the economy, the environment, foreign policy, and civil rights. Economic opportunity. The primary focus of the Vermont Democratic Party's economic platform rests with keeping businesses owned and operated in Vermont. There should be heavy focus on entrepreneurship and job creation. The party supports a strong and vibrant middle class that encourages youth to pursue careers within the state. Its main focus is economic growth and job creation. The party believes that the state government should make Vermont a desirable place for people to bring, or begin, their businesses. The party plans on doing this by giving financial incentives to businesses that are energy efficient, are located in developing areas within Vermont, and provide workers with a livable wage. The party wants to reverse the Bush tax cuts. It voices support for a graduated income tax, the premise that taxes should be based upon the individual taxpayer's ability to pay them. Under such a system, the wealthy would be taxed at a higher percentage level than the middle class, and the very poor would pay little or no income tax. Environmental issues The party believes a healthy environment is essential to the quality of life and recognizes global climate change as a major problem. 
The party believes everyone has moral and ethical obligations to protect and conserve the environment. It is committed to the rigorous and consistent enforcement of environmental laws and regulations. It also supports alternative energy, including investments and research, and favors the rapid implementation of cleaner alternatives to oil and other fossil fuels. Vermont Democrats also support laws that places caps, or limits, on the carbon emissions of both public transportation and personal vehicles. <laughs> Foreign policy The party is opposed to the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. It believes the decision to go to war was ill-advised and has led to the deaths of thousands of innocent people. The party has strongly supported President Obama's decisions to withdraw troops from both Iraq and Afghanistan. <laughs> Civil rights The Vermont Democratic Party supports equal rights amendments to the Constitution and the protection of all citizens, regardless of race, gender or gender identity, sexual orientation, age, national origin, disability, military service, or creed. It has supported Vermont's pioneering initiatives in same-sex marriage, plus the predecessor laws favoring civil unions. It also supports the repeals of Don't Ask, Don't Tell and the Defense of Marriage Act. The party also denounces torture and believes all people have due process rights that should never be violated. The party strongly supported President Obama's decision to ban the tortious technique of waterboarding from being used on suspected terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> Howard Dean Howard Dean may be the most nationally renowned Democratic politician to come out of Vermont in recent years. He served as Governor of Vermont from 1991 to 2003. In 2004 he ran unsuccessfully for the Democratic nomination for president. He had a poor showing in many states. The only primary he won was in Vermont. Dean also served as chairman of the Democratic National Committee from 2005 to 2009, and is credited with being instrumental in Barack Obama's running successfully for the presidency in 2008. His 50-state strategy is widely considered the reason Obama was able to win in traditionally Republican states. <laughs> Current elected officials As of late 2014, there are Vermont Democratic Party incumbents holding five of the six statewide offices in the executive branch—all but lieutenant governor—and the Democrats also hold firm majorities in Vermont's Senate and House of Representatives. Democrats hold one of the state's U.S. Senate seats. The Democrats also hold the state's single at large seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. The incumbent, Representative Peter Welch, first elected in 2006, was the first Democrat to represent Vermont in the lower House of Congress since 1961, and the first House Democrat from Vermont to be re elected in more than 150 years. <laughs> <laughs> Members of Congress U.S. Senate Patrick Leahy U.S. House of Representatives Peter Welch, at Large District Statewide offices Secretary of State, Jim Condos Attorney General, T.J. Donovan State Treasurer, Beth Pierce State Auditor, Doug Hoffer Legislative Tim Ash, President Pro Tempore of the Senate, Mitzi Johnson, Speaker of the House, Becca Bollint, Senate Majority Leader, Jill Krowinski, House Majority Leader, Mark McDonald, Senate Assistant Majority Leader, Tristan Toledo, House Assistant Majority Leader. Topic. Notable members Governors John S. Robinson, 1853–1854 
Philip H. Hoff, 1963 to 1969. Thomas P. Salmon, 1973 to 1977. Madeline M. Cunin, 1985 to 1991. Howard Dean, 1991 to 2003. Peter Shumlin, 2011 to 2017. Topic: Senators. Patrick J. Leahy, 1975. Topic: Representatives. Isaac Fletcher, 1837 to 1841. John Smith, 1839 to 1841. Paul Dillingham Jr., 1843 to 1847. Lucius Benedict Peck, 1847 to 1851. Thomas Bartlett Jr., 1851 to 1853. William H. Meyer, 1959 to 1961. Peter Welch, 2007. <laughs>